This is the simple guide to modifying your Mavic P4 and, and your Inspire 2 for the flight parameters. Uh, what this is, is an easy to follow, end to end guide to modify your aircraft for the most popular flight enhancements that we can do uh, using the DJI Assistant application. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, update Sport Plus Mode, GPS Plus Mode, High Limit Removal, take away the NFCs, get rid of wind warnings, and make Go Home faster. Uh, you're going to download and install an app called Notepad++, open and edit a file, open Assistant, edit parameters, and then go fly. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it, guys. Uh, first thing you're going to do, open up Chrome or whatever your browser of choice is, and do a Google search for Notepad++ Download. Uh, once you get your Google result there, go ahead and click uh, go to download, get to the Notepad++ download page, go ahead and download and install that application. Uh, it might take just a minute or two here. Uh, the download here is going in real time. Um, and what we're going to use Notepad++ is basically we're going to go and we're going to find a file that the assistant application uses and we're going to use it to edit one of the, the files there and it's going to open up uh, basically a developmental console. We're going to use that console to change a value of debug to 1 to allow us to get in and basically do what we want to edit and change flight parameters. So as soon as your download's done there, go ahead and double click it. If you've got antivirus software, uh, give it a chance to scan it. It'll come up safe. Some of you probably already have Notepad++ installed. Um, if you don't, I uh, recommend it. It's a really good editing app. Uh, if you do, then you can go ahead and bypass this. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. So. Install it, close it. Once that's done, open up your C drive. You'll see a program files uh, x86 folder. Go ahead and double click that and open that folder up. Uh, within here, we're gonna open up the DJI product folder and then the DJI assistant and then the app files folder. Uh, within here, you're going to see a file called main.js. Right click on that, go down to copy, and then in the window below, uh, right click again and choose paste. This is going to create a backup of the file in case you screw anything up. We can revert it back and no harm. On that main.js file, right click on it. Uh, if you see, uh, we're not going to choose edit, I messed up there. Go ahead and right click and choose edit with notepad. Uh, up on the top of the window, click on search, click find. In the find window, type in dev tool, D E V T O O L. Now, once it searches and finds it, go ahead and close that search window. Uh, you'll see this window here that says slash slash main window. Uh, basically, we're going to get rid of the two slash slashes and the space there. Um, it's going to call uncommenting that line. So, go ahead and hit file save. Say yes. It'll want to run it in administrator mode. We'll run this in administrator mode. File save again. Go ahead and save that file. Okay, go ahead and close these files, close Notepad++, connect your Mavic, power it on, plug it in through USB, and then open up DJI Assistant 2. You'll notice on the right here there's a new little dev console. Uh, on the top, click Resources, click on this little local storage file container, and then click Debug 1. Uh, once that's open, you can click your device, go into Parameters, and you can start editing uh, parameters or change the flight parameter. Okay, the first one we're going to do is Sport Plus Mode. These are the values we're going to change. So on the top here, go ahead and do a search for Mode underscore Sport. We're going to find the values, so find the, the tilt. Uh, we're going to change the tilt to 50 degrees. Go ahead and hit the plus on the right over there to add it as a, a common use one. For the vol Vert Vol Up, change that to 10. Add the plus sign. For Vert Velocity Down, go ahead and change it to negative 8. Add the plus sign. For the uh, acceleration up, go ahead and enter 10, add the plus sign. Uh, for acceleration down, we're going to leave that one at negative 8. Add the plus sign anyway, we're going to save that as a favorite. Uh, go back to the filter, and this time we're going to search for max underscore speed. Change the value over there from 10 to 20, hit enter. Add the plus sign to save it as a favorite. Let's talk about braking for a second. Now that you're going to be going so much faster in sport mode and the tilt angle is significantly increased, it's going to take you longer to brake and it's harder on the machine. So I'm going to recommend that you put the brake sensitivity down from the stock 130 down to 70. Uh, you can change the setting in the main setting of DJI Go, but I'm going to have you do it here as well. 
and that's it. Next, we're going to do GPS Plus. This is increased GPS speed uh, up and down. Those are the values, so search for normal underscore CFG. I look for the, the CFG tilt ATI range, change it from 25 to 33. That'll give you about 40 miles an hour in GPS mode. Go down to the vertical velocity up. I'd like to change this one to 7 for the velocity down. I like to change this to negative 6. For the vert uh, acceleration up, go ahead and change that to 7. For acceleration down, change it to negative 6. All right, that saved it. That's GPS plus. Now we're going to remove the uh, the altitude or the height limit within DJI system. Uh, those are the values you're going to look for. Uh, go ahead and do a search for height underscore. The top one there, the height underscore limit enabled. Change the value from 1. Uh, we're going to change that to 2. A couple lines below where it says uh, limit height REL, or actually after you hit 2, go ahead and hit the plus sign where it says limit height REL. Go ahead and change that to, uh, I like 3000. Uh, the next one down below, limit height uh, 3000. The next one down without GPS, go ahead and change that to 3000. Go ahead and hit enter on all of those. Uh, next, we're going to uh, search for NFC uh, and remove the, the no-fly zone limits. Those are the values there. So go ahead and search for limit underscore CFG underscore CFG. Within the list, list down there, you'll see the airport fly limit. Go ahead and change that value from a 0 to a 1. Hit enter. Two lines below where it says the the key, the CFG limit data, it's 2015, go ahead and change it to 2025, 0.910. If it changes just back to a, a 2, go ahead and leave it like that, not a big deal. Uh, next thing we're going to do is change the wind. Uh, those are the values we're going to uh, do. We're basically going to change how sensitive it is to wind so that the uh, the wind warnings don't come up. So change these to 25, uh, velocity for level 1 and level 2. Uh, add those as favorites. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the, the go home. Uh, before we do that, I forgot to set that airport setting as a favorite. So I'm going to go back real quick and uh, just set that as a favorite so that you can, you can easily change it at any point in the future. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, increase the speed of go home or return to home to about 13 meters a second. So go ahead and do a search for go home underscore idle. You'll see it set to 10. Go ahead and change it to 13 and we should be good to go there. Add a plus sign with a favorite. Uh, those are just easy to be able to, to read and edit and modify if you ever want to come back in here and change things. So, uh, that's pretty much it. We've set all the, the modes. Go ahead and close it, hit OK. Um, the next thing we want to do is just go ahead and open up uh, Assistant again just to make sure that we did all the changes. This is your first time, so probably want to have that peace of mind that when you go out and fly, you, you know things are good. So again, open up that dev console on the right there, change the debug value to one. Uh, close it on the left, click Little Pilot, or in your case, it should say Mavic. Uh, scroll down to Parameters, and then if you look there, all your favorites will be populated with all those values. If you find that it's uh, going up too fast, you can change those really, really easily. So um, that's it, guys. That's the the easy, quick, end-to-end -end how-to guide on how to modify your Mavic, uh, your P4P, P4A, your Inspire 2. Uh, if you like my time, there's a BTC address there. Uh, feel free to donate. Um, otherwise, I just want to give mad, mad credit, mad props to those out in the community that have done the work, uh, continue to do the work. You guys are really the real, the real rock stars, so thanks.